Greetings everybody, I'm Amy Bachman, your host of SewInform.com. What do organza, wrapping paper mylar, wire, and a few beads make? Well, dragonflies, of course, just like these guys. All right, my inspiration for this class is I found these at a gift shop, and believe it or not, I paid $20 for it. They have little plasticky wings, and I thought to myself, holy cow, we can do that with organza, a little bit of sparkle, we can do anything. And these little bit of beads, no problem stringing beads. But it had this little button, flower button on the back, and it came apart. It has a little magnet in it, and what you're supposed to do is put this on your sliding screen door so people don't walk into your screen door. I thought, well, that's a cute idea because we've got magnets and we've got glue, so we can do just about anything. These are some of the ones that I've been playing with. This right here is the large size dragonfly, and um, this was done in the embroidery unit. And I'm going to show you in the sewing machine how to create the same um, text. So I set my sewing machine up for a tiny zigzag. Um, I'm at a stitch of one millimeter, and uh, I'm sorry, a width of one millimeter, and uh, my stitch length is like 1.4. If you don't want to see any contrast, you want to match your thread to the color that you are couching over. So with this, we're going to, if you have a needle down option, make sure you're using it. So all I'm going to do is get it started. Hang on a second. There's not a whole lot, it goes pretty doggone quick. You can do them in two colors if you want. You can do the grid in one color and then the outline in the second color. Okay, so that's color one. So it's going to do color two, which is the outline, or you can skip to color three and sew the other half and then switch your colors around. Whatever is um, comfortable for you. I'm just going to bounce one color. Boop. So it's going to do the other half of the wing. And then I can put a second color in if I want to finish the outsides. Because when this is done with color one, I'm going to peel the mylar away. Okay, both insides of the wings are done, which is this is color one and that's color three. Um, you could have continued on, but I like to remove this first. And it's very simple. All you're going to do is just kind of peel it towards towards your your stitching, and it just okay. Pops. We're all done embroidering, and, and it turned out very pretty. But one thing I want you to notice is how the organza isn't puckered or pulled away from the edges of the hoop. So many times I see um, when customers come in, they're disappointed that the outline doesn't line up on their embroidery. That's usually because they're not hoop tight enough or stabilized correctly. So that little bit of um, paper towel in there was just enough to hold that organza taut so my embroidery came out beautiful. So you're just going to take your scissors and you're going to cut it out just close to that edge and this is what you get. So now all you need to do is take and find your little dragonfly head and oops 
and zigzag it in place just like we did um, on the sewing portion and add a pin back, whatever you want to do. If you want, you can um, put a little bit of the gold wire, kind of weave it underneath that satin stitching so you have a bendable wing, whatever you'd like to do. Well, I'm glad you joined me. I hope you enjoyed your project. Go have fun and play with your uh, dragonflies because the more you know, the more you sew.